بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی ول بی کمپلیٹنگ اور ٹاپک جین میوٹیشنس اینڈ ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر وی ول لک ایٹ دی کازز آف میوٹیشنس ایز ویل ایز دی ڈی این اے ریپیئر میکنیزمس یوز بائی سیلز ٹو ریپیئر دی میوٹیشنس سو فسٹ آف آل دی کازز آف میوٹیشنس سو وی نو دیٹ میوٹیشنس ریزلٹ فرام بوتھ انٹرنل ایز ویل ایز ایکسٹرنل فیکٹرز اینڈ دوز میوٹیشنس دیٹ آر اے ریزلٹ آف نیچرل نیچرل چینجز ان ڈی این اے اسٹرکچر دے آر نون ایز دی اسپونٹینیس میوٹیشنس ویئر ایز دوز میوٹیشنس دیٹ ریزلٹ فرام چینجز کاز بائی دی انوائرمنٹل فیکٹرز اور ریڈیشن ہیزرڈز آر نون ایز دی انڈیوز میوٹیشنس so uh, now moving towards the uh, spontaneous replication errors so replication is uh, a very accurate uh, procedure and it is amazingly accurate because only uh, fewer errors are uh, produced during the uh, synthesis of dna however spontaneous replication errors uh, do occur occasionally and uh, the primary cause of spontaneous replication errors was uh, previously thought uh, was that they are the tautomeric shifts that are causing the uh, spontaneous uh, replication errors and in the tautomeric shifts uh, position of the protons in the dna bases uh, are changed and uh, there are uh, different chemical forms of purines and pyrimidines that are known as the tautomeric forms and uh, the two tautomeric forms of each base are in a dynamic equilibrium uh, although uh, one form is more common than the other form and the standard watson and crick base pairing uh, uh, is that adenine bonds um, base pairs with thymine and cytosine uh, base pairs with the guanine and uh, these are the common forms of bases when common forms of bases are present so this watson and crick model of base pairing is uh, followed but if the bases are in their rare tautomeric forms then uh, other pairings are also possible so in the tautomeric forms in this uh, figure it is shown that uh, protons have uh, different positions and when this position is shifted then the nucleotide is uh, converted into a different tautomeric form for all the four uh, bases so during the standard base pairing thymine uh, always pairs sorry thymine always uh, pairs with the adenine and cytosine always pairs with the guanine and in the anomalous base pairing arrangements cytosine can pair with the adenine and thymine can pair with the guanine so watson and crick uh, proposed that tautomeric shifts might uh, produce the mutations and for many years their model was acceptable model for spontaneous replication errors but uh, there has never been convincing evidence that the rare tautomeric uh, forms are the cause of spontaneous mutations and uh, furthermore uh, research now shows uh, no evidence for these uh, structures in the dna and uh, mispairing can also occur uh, through wobble so in which normal protonated uh, and other forms of the bases are able to pair because of flexibility in the dna helical structure so uh, uh, in the uh, non watson crick base pairing thymine is uh, pairing with the guanine and cytosine is pairing with the adenine and these structures have been uh, for the uh, 
wobbling these structures have been detected in the dna molecules and now they are thought to be the uh, thought to be responsible for many of the mispairing in replication so wobbling is wobble is a hypothesis uh, in which uh, when transfer rnas uh, have a, a flexibility on the third base for their uh, pairing with the anti uh, with the codon so anti codon is on the uh, trna and uh, codon is on the t uh, on the mrna so at the third base they have a uh, they can have different bases to pair so uh, you can study that wobble in, uh, in in the book and uh, details are given in the molecular biology books so we are not going into the detail of wobble hypothesis in our today's lecture so it is mostly studied in the molecular biology part so uh, so wobble base pairing leads to uh, replication uh, error so if you if if you uh, look at this uh, figure starting dna molecule is a normal molecule and when during replication both strands are uh, separated then if the process is normal then this strand will give rise to a normal wild type uh, double stranded dna molecule but if because of the wobble this thymine in uh, original strand is um, pairing with the guanine in the uh, newly formed strand then this will result into the generation of a permanent mutation in the molecule after uh, next round of the uh, replication because one strand is having the normal sequence but the strand which is uh, having abnormal base g will be creating a mutation a permanent mutation because now this g is pairing with c whereas in the actual molecule this is a tat base pair and another reason uh, for the mutation is insertion and deletions and they may result from the slippage mechanism so in this figure we can see that when a newly uh, a newly synthesized strand is growing then newly synthesized strand loops out and this looping out uh, result uh, in the addition of a nucleotide in the next round of replication and, and similarly when uh, template strands uh, loops uh, the template strand loops out uh, then this will result uh, in the deletion or omission of the nucleotide and this will create it will also create a mutation so when a newly synthesized strand is looping out then addition is uh, the uh, then insertion will be the end point and when the template strand is looping out then deletion will be the end point of this slippage uh, mechanism and the another reason uh, is unequal crossing over and this also produces insertions and deletions so during crossing over when this um, uh, phenomena is unequal then the unequal ph phenomena will result as you can see in this figure that the exact the transfer is from here to here but it is not taking place precisely and uh, some some sequences uh, because of this mis misalignment uh, some sequences are going to the uh, other uh, fragment and some portions are going to the other fragments so there is not an equal crossing over this is an unequal crossing over and at the uh, end there will be uh, different sequences in both dna molecules so this will also result uh, insertion and deletion so now coming towards the spontaneous chemical changes in addition to spontaneous mutations that arise in uh, replication mutations also result from spontaneous chemical changes in dna 
and uh, one such change is the depurination and depurination is the loss of a purine base from a nucleotide and depurination results when the covalent bond connecting the purine to the one prime carbon of the sugar atom uh, one prime uh, carbon atom in the uh, prime position is actually the carbon number one of the uh, sugar molecule deoxyribose sugar molecule and when the connecting covalent bond is uh, broken so it produces a purinic site and uh, this a purinic site then uh, at this a purinic site a nucleotide lacks its purine base and an apurinic site cannot act as a template for complementary base uh, in the replication process. So in the absence of base pairing constraints, an incorrect nucleotide and that incorrect is mostly uh, the adenine nucleotide is incorporated into the newly synthesized DNA strand and that is uh, opposite the apurinic site. So this frequently leads to an incorporation error. So this uh, apurinic uh, mechanism is given in this uh, figure. So if we know that there is a, a sugar phosphate uh, backbone in the DNA molecule and uh, sugar molecule is uh, bound to the uh, bases at uh, one prime carbon. So when uh, we start with the normal uh, DNA sequence, and depurination removes the guanine for example in this sequence it is uh, from the go, uh, from the nucleotide guanine base is removed then um, when the two strands will separate the normal strand will end with a normal uh, replication and a normal molecule will be produced but in the uh, single strand which is carrying the apurinic site any nucleotide can be added because there is no complementary nucleotide so it will add adenine the system will add adenine and now when this double stranded dna which is having an incorrect base and a apurinic site will further divide then this will uh, result in the creation of a mutation finally this will result in permanent mutation and the other uh, strand which is having the apurinic side will further uh, divide and also will be the uh, will be the cause of a uh, mutation. So depurination is a common cause of uh, spontaneous mutations and a mammalian cell in culture uh, loses approximately 10,000 purines every day and another spontaneously occurring chemical change that takes place in DNA is the deamination. The loss of and deamination is the loss of an amino group from the base and deamination may occur spontaneously or it can be induced by uh, mutagenic chemicals. So uh, if we look at the structure of cytosine, cytosine has a NH2 group, this is the amino group and because of the deamination this amino group is removed from the cytosine and when this group is removed then this cytosine is converted into the uracil so the main difference between cytosine and uracil is the presence of amino, uh, amino group when amino group is present it is cytosine and when this amino group is not present then it is uracil and uh, when uh, this uh, uh, uracil is uh, when the cytosine is having a methyl group uh, then removal of uh, the amino group will be changing this 5-methyl cytosine to thymine because difference between the uh, 5-methyl cytosine and thymine is the methyl group when uh, sorry not methyl group but uh, difference is the amino group so when amino group is removed this 
फाइव मिथाइल साइटोसिन इज कन्वर्टेड टू थाइमीन सो दीज आर द रिजल्ट ऑफ डी रिजल्ट ऑफ डी एमिनेशन सो नाउ कमिंग टू वर्ड्स द केमिकली इंड्यूस्ड म्यूटेशंस सो ऑल दो मैनी म्यूटेशन आर आइज स्पॉन्टेनियसली ए नंबर ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल एजेंट्स आर कैपेबल ऑफ डैमेजिंग द डी एन ए सो इंक्लूडिंग सर्टन केमिकल्स एंड रेडिएशन एंड एनी एनवायरमेंटल एजेंट दैट सिग्निफिकेंटली इंक्रीजेज द रेट ऑफ म्यूटेशन अबव द स्पॉन्टेनियस रेट इज नोन एज द म्यूटेजन द फर्स्ट डिस्कवरी ऑफ द केमिकल म्यूटेजन Uh, was made by the charlotte who was born in germany and uh, she was a, uh, belonging to a jewish family so after attending a university in berlin uh, she started doing research and she spent several years teaching at various schools of berlin uh, but uh, because of the nazi germany they faced uh, she faced uh, uh, increasing antisemitism and then she migrated to britain where she conducted research on the development of uh, mut uh, drosophila mutants and uh, in britain at that time th morgan was also working and then she also worked on uh, drosophila mutants and some some any other projects also so uh, uh, base analogs so one class of chemical uh, mutagens consist of base analogs and base analogs are the chemicals with structural similarities to that of any of the four uh, standard bases of dna and uh, dna polymerase cannot distinguish between these analogs and uh, if bases uh, base base analogs are present in the medium uh, during replication they may be incorporated into the newly synthesized dna molecules and for example uh, when uh, a five bromo uracil uh, is uh, used it has the same structure as that of the thymine except that it has a bromine group on the uh, five prime carbon atom instead of a methyl group so the difference between the thymine and uh, fibromouracil is the uh, methyl group and bromine group so when this fibromouracil is used polymerase dna polymerase cannot recognize it as a uh, wrong base but it recognizes it as a thymine and then the enzyme will incorporate this um, analog thymine analog into the uh, newly synthesized dna strands so normally fibromo uracil pairs with adenine just as thymine does but it actually it uh, actually occasionally mispairs with uh, guanine leading to a transition mutation so uh, as a result of this uh, ta base pair will be changed to cg base pair finally so uh, if we look at this figure so during the normal pairing uh, uracil uh, fibromo uracil is uh, pairing with adenine but when mispriming will occur then uh, fibromo when when the fibromo uracil is ionized then it will Uh, miss pair with the guanine also so this will uh, result in a uh, transition mutation and c will be changed into thymine will be changed into the cytosine so five bromo uh, uracil can lead to a replication uh, error so as you can see in this figure that uh, when we start with a normal sequence during replication one strand is going normally but uh, the second strand which uh, in which uh, fibromouracil is incorporated then this strand is uh, after several uh, uh, rounds of replication it will uh, give rise to a replication error and this replication error will result in uh, c g base pair instead of a uh, a t base pair t a base pair 
so another uh, mutagenic chemical uh, is 2 minopurine which is a base analog of adenine and normally 2 minopurine base pairs with thymine but it may miss pair with the cytosine and when it will pair with uh, cytosine then it will cause a transition mutation and this is also a, a T to C change finally after uh, several several rounds of uh, replication so alternatively 2 minopurine may be incorporated through mispairing uh, mis into the newly synthesized DNA opposite uh, cytosine and later pair with the thymine leading to a cytosine to uh, thymine transition mutation so thus uh, both 5-bromouracil and 2-aminopurine can produce transition mutations and in the laboratory mutations caused by base analogs can be reversed by treatment with the same analog or by treatment with some different analogs and uh, now coming towards some other uh, uh, mutating agents so first one the alkylating agents uh, alkylating agents are the chemical that donate the alkyl group and these agents include methyl and ethyl groups which are added to nucleotide bases by some chemicals for example there is a chemical known as EMS uh, ethyl methane sulfonate and it adds an ethyl group to the guanine and produces 6 ethyl guanine which then pairs with the thymine and uh, creates a transition mutation from C to T so EMS is also capable of adding ethyl group to thymine then it produces 4 ethyl thymine which then pairs with the guanine and leads to a T to C transition so because EMS produces both uh, C to T and T to C transitions mutations produced by EMS can be reversed by uh, additional treatments with the EMS and mustard gas in, is another alkylating agents and this uh, agent was uh, also used in, his, in the history for creating uh, mutations so if you look at this figure uh, the guanine molecule is is the, it is the original molecule and when EMS is treatment is done then this uh, provides a ethyl uh, group and when ethyl group is added then it can pair with the uh, thymine and type of mutation will be CG base pair will be changed into thymine adenine base pair and C cytosine is changed into the thymine finally after the uh, replic uh, DNA replication so deamination uh, in addition to its spontaneous occurrence deamination can be induced by uh, some chemicals deamination is uh, spont uh, also occurring spontaneously and it can also be induced by chemicals uh, for example the nitrous acid deaminates the cytosine and creates the uracil which in the next round of replication pairs with adenine and produces a C to T transition and nitrous acid changes adenine into hypoxanthine which pairs with the cytosine and then it leads to a T to C transition so nit uh, nitrous acid also deaminates the guanine molecule and produces the xanthine which pairs with uh, cytosine just as guanine does and uh, however xanthine may also pair with thymine and this also leads to C to T, uh, C to T transition so nitrous acid produces exclusively transition mutations and because both uh, C to T and T to C transitions are produced these mutations can be reversed by using the nitrous uh, acid as you can see in this uh, figure that this is the uh, normal molecule of uh, cytosine when nitrous acid treatment is done then the, uh, this uh, modified base becomes uracil and this uracil then can pair with the adenine molecule and this will result in a C to T transition so uh, next is the hydroxylamine next chemical is the hydroxylamine and it is a very specific base modifying mutagen that adds a hydroxyl group to cytosine 
and uh, this converts it into the hydroxyl amino cytosine and this conversion increases the frequency of a rare tautomer that pairs with the adenine instead of uh, guanine and leads to a C to T transition mutation. So because hydroxyl amine acts uh, only on uh, cytosine, it will not generate T to C transition, thus hydroxyl amine will not uh, reverse the mutation that it produces. So uh, in this figure it is clear that uh, when hydroxyl amine treatment is done, this cytosine molecule changes to hydroxyl amine cytosine and this then is capable of pairing with the adenine and will create a C to T transition. And next uh, is oxidative stress. So reactive uh, forms of oxygen uh, including super radicals, hydrogen peroxides and hydroxyl radicals, uh, they are produced in the course of normal aerobic uh, respi uh, respiration, uh, normal uh, aerobic metabol metabolic processes as well as by radiation, ozone, peroxides and certain drugs. So these reactive forms of oxygen damage the DNA and induce uh, mutations by bringing uh, about the chemical changes in the DNA. So for example, oxidation converts guanine into 8-oxy-7-8-dihydroxy, um, dihydrodeoxyguanine and this frequently mispairs with the adenine instead of cytosine and this causes a G to T transversion mutation because now G is a purine and purine is being converted into thymine, thymine is a uh, pyrimidine so this is a transversion mutation. Now uh, intercalating, intercalating agents, so uh, proflavin, acridine orange, uh, ethidium bromide and dioxin are uh, the intercalating agents which produce mutations by sandwiching themselves into the uh, adjacent bases in DNA and this thing distort, uh, distorts the 3D structure of the uh, helix, DNA helix and causes single nucleotide insertions and deletions in the replication uh, mechanism. So these insertions and deletions frequently produce frame shift mutations and so the muta mutagenic effects of intercalating agents are often very severe. So because intercalating agents generate both additions and deletions, they can reverse the effect of their own uh, mutations. So uh, these are the two uh, chemicals, uh, proflavin and acridine orange and uh, they can intercalate between the bases of the DNA. This is the double helical molecule and uh, it contains different uh, bases and uh, the intercalating molecules can intercalate between the base, base pairs. So this is one base pair, this is the other base pair and in between these two uh, this is the intercalated molecule and uh, this intercalation disturbs the structure of the molecule thus creating different uh, mutations. So next is the radiation. In 1927, Herman Muller demonstrated that uh, mutation in the fruit flies could be induced by X-rays uh, and the results of subsequent studies showed that X-rays greatly increase mutation rates in all organisms because of their high energies X-rays, gamma rays and cosmic rays are all capable of pen penetrating the tissues and thus damage the DNA. So these forms of radiations uh, called ionizing radiation, they dislodge the electrons from the atoms they uh, encounter and thus changing the stable molecule into free radicals and uh, reactive ions which then uh, alter the structure of bases and break double uh, break the phosphodiester bonds in the DNA molecule. So as we can see that uh, this uh, in the electromagnetic spectrum um, as the wavelength decreases um, energy their energy increases. So when uh, uh, this is the visible range of light and uh, when wavelength is uh, mm, uh, decreasing, 
the energy is increasing and when wavelength is decreasing then energy is decreasing so uh, uh, we can uh, clearly see that uh, x rays cosmic rays and gamma rays are having more energy even than the uh, uv light so they are uh, they are causing the uh, severe damage to the dna molecules so ionizing radiations are frequently result uh, results uh, also frequently result in uh, double strand breaks in the dna molecules and attempts to repair these breaks can produce the chromosome mutations because there are systems in the cell uh, that are uh, capable of repairing the double strand breaks and when double strand breaks are repaired then uh, there are chances of uh, uh, retaining the mutation so uv light has less energy than the ionizing radiation and uh, does not eject electrons but it uh, nevertheless highly uh, it is nevertheless highly mutagenic it it, it can cause the mut uh, mutation but the effect of uv light is different from uh, x rays and uh, alpha rays and cosmic rays so purine and pyrimidine bases readily absorb uv light and uh, resulting in the formation of chemical bonds between adjacent pyrimidine molecules or the same uh, on the same Uh, strand of dna and thus they create the pyrimidine dimers and pyrimidine dimers consist of two uh, thymine bases and they are therefore they are known as the thymine dimers and the thymine dimers are most frequent but cytosine dimers and thymine cytosine dimers can also form but they are rare so the dimer uh, dimers uh, distort the configuration of dna and often block the replication process most pyrimidine dimers are immediately repaired by cellular dna repair mechanisms but some escape repair and inhibit replication and transcription processes so um, these are this is the normal uh, some st uh, strand of uh, dna but after the uv radiation a uh, chemical bonds covalent bonds are formed between two uh, thymine in the same strand and when uh, these bonds are formed this becomes a thymine dimer and this thymine dimer results in the distortion of the dna molecule so this distortion results in uh, problems in the dna replication process so when pyrimidine dimer block replication cell division is inhibited uh, and cell usually dies uh, for this reason uv light is used to kill the bacteria and it is an effective method of sterilizing uh, the surfaces and things for a mutation uh, which is a hereditary error in the genetic instruction uh, to occur uh, for a mutation to occur the replication block must be removed so if block is not removed then uh, uh, mutation if the uh, uh, that uh, uh, block is not removed then replication will not occur and cell will die so how do bacteria and other organisms replicate despite the presence of the thymine dimer so bacteria uh, overcome this uh, replication block uh, produced by the pyrimidine dimers and uh, other types of dna damages by mean of a system known as the sos system and this system allows replication blocks to be removed but the process makes numerous mistakes and greatly increases the rate of mutation so indeed the very reason that replication can proceed in the presence of a block is that the uh, enzymes uh, used in the saw system do not strictly adhere to the base pairing rules and therefore they can um, start the replication so the trade off is that replication may continue and the cell survives but only by sacrificing the normal accuracy of the dna synthesis and this causes Uh, different production of different mutants so if, uh, uh, we can see in this figure that uh, during the uh, dna damage a rec a protein is activated and this uh, rec a protein then causes this lex a protein which is repressing the sox box in the sox in the sauce uh, sauce box in the sauce promoter and then this lex a is uh, self cleaved 
and this self cleavage will result in the uh, in the uh, transcription of uh, sauce uh, system uh, uh, proteins that are then used to express uh, uh, different uh, sauce genes and th then these sauce genes will repair uh, the damage this is a very complicated process and more than 25 different proteins are working in this system so eukaryotic cells have a specialized DNA polymerase molecule called the polymerase eta that bypasses pyrimidine dimers and it preferentially inserts double A uh, adenine adenine molecules opposite a pyrimidine dimer and this strategy seems to be a reasonable strategy because about two third of the pyrimidine dimers are thymine dimers. However, the insertion of double A opposite a CA dimer will result in a C to G transversion and uh, therefore uh, polymerase eta is said to be an error prone uh, polymerase if this is not a error free polymerase molecule. So now coming towards the uh, DNA repair, there are a number of complex pathways for repairing DNA but several uh, general statements can be made uh, about the DNA repair. First is that most DNA repair mechanisms require two nucleotide strands of DNA because most replace whole nucleotides and a template strand is necessary to specify the base sequence. And the second general feature of DNA repair is the redundancy. It means that uh, many types of DNA damages can be corrected by uh, more than one pathway of repair. And this redundancy testifies uh, to the extreme importance of DNA repair. To the survival of the cell, it ensures that almost all mistakes are corrected and if a mistake Escape, if a mistake escapes one repair system, so it is likely that that mistake will be repaired by another system. So there are multiple systems working in the cells, in the cellular systems to repair the DNA repair because uh, accurate transfer of DNA from one generation to the next generation is necessary to restore the uh, coded information. So we will focus only on the four general uh, mechanisms of DNA repair. They are mismatch repair, direct repair, base excision and nucleotide repair and in this table uh, it is uh, given that which system is uh, repairing the uh, which damage. So first of all the mismatch repair, in the uh, mismatch repair system uh, in the DNA replication a mismatch base, uh, when a mismatch base is added uh, in the uh, strand, newly synthesized strand then uh, methylation uh, at GATC sequence allows the identification of uh, old and newly synthesized strands. So uh, when uh, this is done then uh, three different proteins mute L, mute S and mute H they uh, are used in this mismatch repair system and uh, in the next step this mute H uh, binds to the, uh, uh, the region where, site, where the methylation is found and uh, the mute S is bound with the uh, mismatched uh, where in the newly strand synthesized mismatched nucleotide is added and the third protein mute L then uh, brings the two brings the two together and then a nick is produced and exonuclease removes the nucleotides on the new uh, strand between the GATC which is the methylated methylation site and the site of a mismatch. So this NIC is produced and then and DNA polymerase in the last step uh, replaces the uh, nucleotides and correcting the mismatch uh, and DNA ligase seals the NIC. So in this way this uh, uh, mismatch is repaired and in the direct repair system uh, methyl transferase enzyme is used and this methyl uh, transferase will remove the methyl group and it will restore uh, the original guanine uh, uh, nucleotide. So now uh, base excision repair 
in the base excision repair in the first step uh, dna glycosylase uh, enzyme is used and this glycosylase enzyme uh, then bases uh, removes the uh, base and creates a ap site and then uh, ap endonuclease will uh, produce a nick at the 5 prime site and then dna polymerase will come and dna polymerase uh, will uh, repair uh, this site by adding a new nucleotide a complete new nucleotide and finally the dna ligase will seal the uh, will seal the uh, nick and in this way uh, molecule will be repaired and in the uh, nucleotide excision repair dna damage is recognized first and then uh, an enzyme complex is uh, uh, is uh, coming and that this enzyme complex system is binding uh, the uh, region where uh, the distorted form of the damage is present then in the third step the dna uh, is molecule is separated into two different strands and both strands open and then uh, nicks are produced on both sides and finally uh, the molecule is uh, uh, when the nicks are produced then dna polymerase uh, repairs adds repairs and adds all the new uh, nucleotides and finally the ligase molecule is uh, used to li uh, to ligate the nicks and in this way this uh, error is repaired so uh, in this uh, table different uh, names of different disorders are given and uh, their symptoms are also given in the second column and uh, the genetic defect is also given which is causing the uh, phenotypic uh, expressions in different disorders so uh, now we have complete our uh, gene mutation topic also so if you have any question you can ask on uh, during the online session so thank you for today allah hafiz